Yo, what is going on, guys? Today in this video, I'm bringing you another RuneScape, old school RuneScape video. I'm uh, branching off since I don't have the uh, the new zombie map. I'm gonna come to use some glitches once that comes on Xbox. But to start this one off, it's gonna be the melee guide one to ninety nine. Coming to you right here. The first place you want to go is the Lumbridge Chickens. This is going to be level 1 combat all the way up to level 5 combat in all your melee stats. Once you have 5 in attack strength and defense, and you're going to get the hit points as well, you're going to want to traverse. Oh, got to get the gate open. Oh my god. Got to open up this bad boy right here. Slide right down to the DMs. You're just going to want to be cruising down here. And uh, you already know where I'm going with this. We're going to go to some cows. We're going to go roll up on these cows. What you do, cow? Here we go. These guys are level 2. I recommend having 5 in all your combat skills. And uh, I also recommend uh, you use the scimitar for anything. And I recommend you go... Every time you get the ability to use a new melee weapon, you're going to want to use it. Because, obviously, it's going to be a lot better than the other ones. But, uh, cows. You're going to be on these cows until you are up to 15 in all your combat skills. You can go up to 20 if you want, but I recommend 15. Once you get 15 in all your combat skills, we're going to be going to another location. I'm going to restart the video when I'm there. I'm not going to show you guys the full walkthrough, none of that. You guys do not want to see all that. And as we stroll up on our second location, first thing I want to go point out to you guys is this uh, second location is located right by these power fishers over in Barbarian Village. If you ever need food, ever, there's always going to be a big old pile of food. You can just sit here. And just go loot an entire invent of fish. Get yourself ready to go. I dropped those pots, but my left click's not working right now. And oh man, is it bad? Like, try to go drop it. And I'm like, come on. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There she is. Oh. 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 Oh, oh my god. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not gonna. Not gonna mess about that but you can get a full inventory of salmon pretty decent fish you keep your health up and you don't gotta be breaking the bank if you're a low level you're gonna need armor to do this why I recommended 20 and all the stats before you come down here is because mithril is a great helping hand when you're down here but um, you're gonna wanna go head on down to the stronghold of security the thing is you could do this whole stronghold of security you get about 10k cash if you need a little bit extra cash for some armor but the first place you want to go is just go down one level. You're going to want to come through here, and it's like, Greetings, adventurer, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to answer you some really stupid, like, answer these really stupid questions. It's like, a website says, I could become a moderator before giving, if you give them my password. Oh, yes, sounds like a great idea. Why not? Let's just do it. You got to go cruise through that door, walk by these goblins, get out of my way, goblins. <sighs> Woo. Is it okay to buy a RuneScape account? Only if you buy it with RSGP. Duh. But you know, alright, this is free to play as well. This is going to be in the member's guide. I'll make a member's guide when I become a member. But um, people you want to look for, Minotaurs. They're going to be level 12. And you can kill the wolves in here. It doesn't really matter. They do hit a little bit higher than the Minotaurs. And, um... They're pretty decent XP as well, but the notable drops on these guys, not notable drops, like the drops, the drops you really want to go pick up is probably going to be the uh, iron arrows they drop. You can loot pretty decent amount of iron arrows here. Sometimes they drop some bronze arrows, but iron arrows mostly, they drop about, like, in about 10. You see them on the ground. I'm not going to loot them because my inventory is full, but um, you can get pretty decent cash while uh, leveling up your stats down here. You just want to kill these minotaurs up until you get 30 in all your combat stats once you get 30 in all your combat stats we're gonna stay inside of this uh, stronghold of security I'm gonna go show you guys which way to go so you guys know how to get down here exactly pop through this door pop right through here again hit the report abuse button slide through there and the the reason why I'm choosing like these numbers is because there's a certain sequence of uh, of these little like portals and the certain stuff that you need to uh, get through them, you know you'll be able to use the portals. So uh, 
we're not going to go uh, anything crazy into that, but um, once you have level 30 in attack strength and defense, you have a full set of mithril and you have a mithril skimmy, you're going to want to go hit this portal, come down here, you can uh, pick up the 2k drop in this thing, this thing will give you 2k, the little like chest a piece if you want it, but um, I know it would be dangerous, yada yada yada, go down here, open up this rickety door, and then come on through here, is it okay to be a moderator, yada yada yada, open up this, and you're going to want to come over down here, and you're going to scroll up on some zombies, these zombies are level 30, I recommend 30 in all your combat skills before you attack them, I'd recommend having a full limit of food that you just picked up from the power fishers and uh, yeah you can go off on these guys notable drops you do make about 50k an hour in uh, iron arrows I mean steel arrows what am I talking about I'm killing these guys right now because this is going to be level 30 all the way up to 60 in all your combat skills for free to play but uh, I'm working on these right now I'm almost done with these but I can tell you I've made about 1 mil in steel arrows they drop about uh, like a maybe about a bunch of 15 every single time you kill them and um, they give you insane amounts of XP I really do recommend this but uh, I have about uh, 2,000 arrows banked right now I've been working on prior but you get great money while getting great XP this is definitely a great method that I do recommend for anyone trying to make money and get some stats up but once we oh just drop me some arrows gotta go loot those can't let those drop the best is when someone else is not looting their arrows you're gonna make a significantly more money you're gonna be making bank down here man you got multiple guys not looting the arrows wow you're mister bank I'll tell you that but you're gonna wanna do that till you have 60 in all your combat skills you'll be about combat around like level like 72 73 something like that and then you're just gonna wanna come right back through there it says set up your uh, and once you have 60 in all your combat skills, you will be able to use this portal. You're going to want to boom through that portal. I mean, no, once you have 60, once you have 50, you can come down here if you want 50. But I, if uh, you want to do it with 50, you can do it. But I don't recommend it. I recommend 60s. You can pick up your loot from the, the big old bag right there. I think it's another 2K. You're going to want to come down here, open up this oozing barrier. And right through this door right here. Send up the two step. And uh, the guys you're going to want to go kill all the way up to uh, level 99 in all your combat skills in free to play old school RuneScape is going to be these giant spiders. They're level 50. They can damage you high if your defense is not up there. I've been hit with sevens before, like this guy's a little 97 down here killing him. You can safe spot him as he's doing, but um, this is uh, this is it for the free to play uh, melee guide. No faster way melee wise, in my opinion. This is my opinion. The whole video has been my opinion, but I can tell you my account is level 67, and I've been playing on it for one week, and I did this exact same way to get my skills up as I showed you in the video. It takes about one week to get about 60 in all your stats not bad you can uh, upgrade a member get some dragon weapons it's uh, it's pretty nice man I hope you guys like this guy and I hope you guys uh, learn some helpful insights about uh, the good old game of the runescape